Hello. I'm going to show you the book, Mr. Greedy. He does look greedy, but actually in real life, he has good manners. And he's not bad temper, he's good temper. And look, he's fat. <laughs> Mr. Greedy. Oh, by the way, and and I think he looks like a pig because he's pink. Mr. Greedy like to eat. In fact, Mr. Greedy loved to eat. And the more he ate, the fatter he became. And the trouble was, the fatter he became, the more hungry he became. And the more hungry he became, the the more he be he became the more he ate. And the more he ate, the fatter he became. So it went on. Mr. Greedy lived in a house that rather looked himself. It was a roly-poly sort of a house. One morning, Mr. Greedy woke rather early than usual. He had been dreaming about food, as usual, and that made him woke up feeling hungry, as usual. So Mr. Greedy got up, went downstairs, and ate, bre ate the most enormous breakfast. This is what Mr. Greedy had for his breakfast. Toast, two slices, cornflakes, one packet, milk. One bottle, sugar, one bowlful, toast, three slices, eggs, three boiled, toast, four slices, butter, one dish, marmalade, one pot. That, that's something giants eat for breakfast, don't they? When he had finished his enormous breakfast, Mr. Greedy sat back in his chair, smiling a very satisfied smile, and thought, That was a delicious breakfast, he thought to himself. Now, I wonder what would be nice to have lunch. He decided in order to work a appetite for lunch, he would go for a long walk. That morning, Mr. Greedy walked and walked and walked. He Then he discovered a cave. That's funny, he thought. I don't remember seeing that there before. Mr. Greedy, being a curious sort of a fella, decided to explore. He entered the cave. Inside, he discovered some giant steps leading upwards. Mr. Greedy, being a curious sort of fella, decided to climb them. They were very steep and difficult to climb, but with much huffing and puffing, Mr. Greedy climbed up and up. At the top of the steps, Mr. Greedy came to a door. It was, without doubt, the Biggest door that Mr. Greedy have ever seen. You seen it. You never seen it either, right? Because there's no such thing as giant doors. Mr. Greedy, being a curious sort of a fella, decided to see what was in, on the other side of that door. Mr. Greedy squeezed it himself through the crack in the door. And there before him was an, an amazing sight. The biggest room in the world. The floor was big as a field. The table in the middle of the floor was big as a house. And the chairs around.